large thank you to the students who have taken the time to be here today. As most of you know, it's certainly not an easy time during exams, and uh, this is uh, really, really important for you all to be here, so I appreciate it. My name is Kaiba. I am the external commissioner at GISA, but the Student Association Association des Etudiants et Etudiants qui ont made l'Université d'Ottawa. Euh, moi, c'est Pierre Saint-Jacques, euh, je suis le coordonnateur aux activités politiques et aux communications de la GESAD. Et puis, euh, bon, on va commencer. Yeah. Uh, so, just to start, I want to let you all know what the purpose of this presentation is. I'm going to do a brief overview of the current deplorable situation of tuition fees in Ontario for graduate students. Um, I'll be going over some things that I'm sure all of you around the table are highly aware of, being board members, and I hope being active board members. I also want to say that, like Anne-Marie, this isn't my first time here. Um, I've done this presentation before, and uh, it certainly isn't an empowering experience to do a presentation when we have seen fee increases and the board vote on fee increases with um, usually only two dissenting voices every year. So please take that into consideration when we're going through the presentation. Um, so going over to some of the facts, um, student funding in Ontario for uh, Per student funding is the lowest in Ontario. This is rather sort of self-explanatory, um, and one thing that certainly does contribute to the experience of students and to the financial burden being passed on to students via tuition fees. As I said, I'll be going through very briefly because the final stage of the presentation is looking at recommendations on how we can ideally work collaboratively to bring uh, a voice to the provincial government of the various um, bodies that we can to be able to advocate for lower tuition fees. Um, next, looking at undergrad and graduate students, uh, tuition fees in Ontario are the highest in Canada. Like I said, this graph is fairly self-explanatory. <coughs> uh, but just to give you some numbers, um, for graduate students, in 1992, tuition fees in Ontario were on average $2,105 um, as a graduate student who is going into the summer finishing up writing my thesis. I'll be paying uh, over $2,500 for the summer semester, so you can imagine what that feels like. Um, in 2012, they went up to 7,180, 7, um, and for 2015, they're projected to be 9,231, and this is based on provincial government policy announcements um, and the current legislation. All right, so here, again, we're looking at sort of a comparison across the board for tuition fees, both in Ontario um, and, in, uh, and, in, and across Canada. Um, as I said, Ontario uh, has the highest tuition fees for graduate students. Um, something I want to take into, um, make a point of here as well, is looking at post-residency phase for graduate students. So this is when you're writing your thesis, you're doing your independent research projects, um, and you're not using as much resources from the university. You're also not in classes, and you might be in touch with your supervisor during that phase of your research. So some, some universities do have um, a reduction in fees for graduate students during that time. Um, this allows uh, um, students to be able to pay more attention to their studies. They don't need to take on second, third jobs like a lot of students do. As well as um, it, you know, a win-win, right? It's it's a quicker time to to completion if you're looking at lower fees and, and directing more time on your studies. Uh, sur le, euh, la question du fait que euh, c'est moins cher d'étudier à l'extérieur de l'Ontario, moi je voulais juste soulever le point euh, de du fait francophone. Euh, L'Université d'Ottawa essaie de se positionner, j'imagine, je crois me souvenir, euh, comme étant un choix attrayant pour les francophones. Donc, en plus de la population franco-ontarienne qui, euh, qui est dans les alentours, dans la région, euh, disposer d'un important bassin francophone de l'autre côté de la rivière. Ben, on l'a, je crois. Euh, je ne suis pas très bon à l'intérieur. Euh, C'est sûr que si vous voulez saisir ce marché-là, si vous voulez attirer ces étudiants-là pour venir étudier ici à l'Université, à l'Université d'Ottawa euh, et pas rester au Québec ou aller dans une autre province, euh, les frais de scolarité s'ajoutent. Donc, moi, je voulais juste vous attirer, attirer votre attention là-dessus. Euh... Okay. Um, so now we're looking at tuition fees for international graduate students and uh, as most of you know as well, tuition fees for international students are triple um, that for domestic students across the board. Um, and I'd sincerely like to point out that that is an unfair burden placed on international students, but something I would like to focus on, on here that has been a current change at the provincial level um, is a further fee that's going to be tacked on to international students, and we're certainly unsure how the University of Ottawa is going to address this. We haven't heard of a comprehensive plan, but we're looking at $75 per student and 
$750 as well, so $825 in total. Um, that will be added on to MA and undergraduate students. Uh, so basically, international students are not funded as a part of the government's general operating grants, um, so, but the institutions used to receive the international student recovery grant. So this has been entirely cut for non-PhD students. Um, and this, we're looking at uh, another fee that's going to be tacked on our international students. Um, we absolutely oppose this additional fee, and we'd very much like to know how the institution, at the institutional level, we're going to be able to support our students, especially in the 2012, or the 2020, um, Plan the Vision 2020, to recruit double the amount of international students to the University of Ottawa. How are we communicating this to students? Are we bringing students in, and then they're put into a situation where um, they're in, and very much in financial trouble? Uh, mais une réalité euh, des étudiants, dont, euh, des étudiants internationaux euh, qu'on a peut-être tendance à oublier, c'est que c'est excessivement difficile pour euh, ces étudiants-là de survivre euh, s'ils n'ont pas accès à des sources de financement. Et à la Vessade, on a souvent des étudiants internationaux qui viennent nous voir et qui euh, ont eu accès à des bourses de l'université, du gouvernement, euh, mais ces bourses-là ne sont pas suffisantes. Elles couvrent à peine les, euh, les droits de scolarité. Et à la fin de quelques années d'études, euh, ces étudiants-là se retrouvent sans le sou, ils sont ici, ils sont forcés ils, de s'en retourner chez eux sans un diplôme à, à, après avoir investi Bonjour. beaucoup de temps Bonjour. Euh, pour Bonjour. un diplôme qu'ils n'obtiendront pas. Il y a des personnes qui viennent pour l'université, qui ça se retrouve sur notre site web, autant que vous êtes en train de, c est, c est vraiment, un vrai de violer notre, notre, notre politique. Pourriez-vous profiter de filmer? Oui. Ça va être Um, especially if you take into consideration, so students leaving their undergraduate degrees with a significant amount of debt, they're entering into graduate.